Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I have some exciting news and just some super awesome stuff actually. So I've been dying to figure out a way to inject noise into uh, ESCs and flight, well not ESCs, flight controllers and voltage regulators to see what happens. Now you might say, well, what is that good for? Well, now we know we could actually know which voltage regulators or which type of voltage regulators can actually withstand the most amount of noise without running into any issues. And this also goes for the OSD. Now, I know many of you have known the OSD flicker issues, and we can actually pressure and push flight controllers to see uh, when they break, basically when the OSD just starts having issues, and then when the overall flight controller starts to have issues from its uh, the way it's set up or built. So uh, this is going to be a very interesting chapter here on the channel, and um, I finally got in a prototype to work, and um, I'm going to go ahead and show you. So this is actually, you know... <laughs> I'm so excited about this. It's just crazy. So let's go ahead and just tell you about my current setup here. Now I have a oscilloscope here. This is the little budget $100 oscilloscope here, but it's also a waveform generator. And what I can do is I could just make custom signals that comes out and then it connects here to my little setup right there. And then I can actually control the type of noise uh, to go into whatever I want from flight controller to voltage regulator, to low ESR capacitor, and seeing how good they measure. And I have the oscilloscope here, and my phone's recording the oscilloscope. And um, hopefully I'll be able to put it somewhere here nice, so this way we don't have to go back and forth and I'll lose you guys. So right now we're gonna go ahead and quickly just check some crazy noise issues here. So I'm just gonna quickly show you this setup right now. So let's go ahead and just prepare the oscilloscope to record. All right. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to power the VTX. And currently we shouldn't see any noise. All right, so. All right. So right now we're powered, the VTX is powered. And as you can see here on the oscilloscope, uh, we currently have a pretty flat line. This is very nice. However, it does have a little bit of noise. I can see the lines here. And sorry about the fireworks if you could hear it because I'm like two hours away from New Year's right now. And, um, what you can do, what you can see is it's a pretty solid line. You do still see some noise. It's, just, it's, it's going to be very difficult for you to see it, but I do see it. But check this out here. So I could actually start controlling the noise here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my frequency down to one kilohertz. All right. And I'm going to also drop my duty cycle. I can see it increasing, but you'll see it. Can you, can, oh no, you guys can't. There we go. Here's that very nasty noise that I'm pretty sure some of you have seen before. Now this is the most terrible noise you could probably run into on specific throttle levels from ESCs. Now this is due to very noisy ESCs. And let's take a look at the oscilloscope here and actually see what's really going on. So here's the voltage that's being fed to the VTX. And like I mentioned, you need this to be as flat as possible. And uh, on the previous video, if you watched, we saw we had a little bit of noise, which the voltage was just spiking going up and down around 580 millivolts, which is really, it's, it's something, but it's, it's not that bad. But here, it's a whole different story. Here, our voltage fluctuation is 8.6 volts at one kilohertz. So what's going on is it's, it's going, the voltage to the VTX right there is going up and down, up and down uh, by 8.6 volts, which is just insane. And this is noise, it's voltage fluctuations at specific frequencies. And right now, this is what we're seeing, it's a low frequency voltage fluctuation right here. And I'm pretty sure most of you have seen this, I've seen this before on some of my quads. Uh, for example, Race Star MS series, depending on what motors you put in, on specific throttle levels, you could actually start, your screen would actually go like this. So. This just opens a whole new world for us here. I'm just, I don't know if you guys are excited, but I am unbelievably excited. And, you know, I can't not do much more just yet because I'm currently limited with this guy. I mean, what do you expect? He's only $100 here. And, but to be able to enable me to actually do this and get a prototype working is just insane. It's really insane. I'm very glad I got this guy. Now, the thing is, you know, I'm, I'm very limited in the kind of signals I could generate with this guy. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and purchased a solid real waveform generator, all thanks to my Patreons. 
And um, if it wasn't for you guys, I, it would have been very difficult. What I was able to get from Patreon basically uh, 50, covered around 50% of the cost for that waveform generator. And I, I do thank every single one of you for everything you guys do and provide from your comments down to my Patreons. Really, if it wasn't for you guys, it would be it would have been almost impossible to actually get it. And um, I really thank you guys. But now let's explain what I can do with this new waveform generator. Um, obviously, I'm going to be able to do more custom signals, which I can actually simulate almost 100% uh, specific ESC's noise, which is going to be absolutely beautiful and perfect for our testing. Another thing we're going to be able to do is actually I could connect it to my PC and create any type of noise I could imagine. So this is going to be absolutely beautiful and we're going to be able to do some crazy, crazy, um, very good testing for flight controllers. We can basically just simulate noise and seeing when it'll break, which ones could handle more, uh, which one are more resilient to noise, and uh, you know, the whole thing about the best flight controller. Uh, we're going to be able to see that and figure it out. So that's going to be pretty cool and pretty interesting, and um, it's going to give us a lot more information. And uh, I'm sure manufacturers are probably going to get upset with me, but who cares, right? <laughs> it's for us anyways. So right now, um, I'm very excited. I'm waiting on that waveform generator to come in. Hopefully it'll come this week. As soon as I get it, I'm just going to break apart, I don't know, the flight controller and we're just going to see. I'll just start getting a couple measurements in the beginning just to get a base idea of what's really going on. And uh, I'll do a little update for you guys. And then I'll do a couple ESCs to kind of get a baseline and seeing uh, how good they are. And what I also want to do is I want to actually get the Matek F405 flight controller and actually see why it's, um, why, where, where is that yaw twitch issue coming from? Is it from a, the regulator on board? Is it from the gyro? I will be feeding it noise to like kind of replicate and maybe we can see it on the black box log or something. I'll figure out a way to do this. And maybe it's just a simple fix because that flight controller is absolutely beautiful when you pair it with the right ESC. And if you hear like gunshots behind me, it's uh, it's fireworks. Um, New Year's is like two hours away from me right now. So yeah, so yeah, don't, don't mind that. But um, isn't this beautiful? I mean, we hate to see this, but I'm actually controlling this and and, and we can, oh, I, I, we're gonna be able to do so many, so many cool things here. So I've gone ahead and removed the noise, just that simple. So it's just, this is, this is unbelievable. And um, yeah, soon I'll be having more videos, debugging videos with this guy uh, for the people that also have gotten it. And, um, I, you know, you, you really can't go wrong for $100 if you're looking for a little mini oscilloscope. Obviously, it's not going to handle something like a proper big oscilloscope like the one I have right there. But um, for me to be able to do this is just insane. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy and very pleased. And um, I couldn't ask for more. And I love you guys. You guys have been the best. We just hit 9,000 subscribers yesterday. And um, I really wish and hope we keep continue going on like this. And... Um, yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys and uh, just update you. And let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. And if you have any suggestions or any ideas, I am all ears. And just let me know down there. And um, I'm going to reply. I'm going to be watching every single comment. And um, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. And if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I'll be more than happy to test it. And that's it, guys. I just wanted to thank you again. And without you, I wouldn't be here today. And you guys have been the best. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.